What's going on guys and girls? Exciting news today from OpenAI. They've released their latest GPT-4 model, which is called GPT-4 Turbo. It has a context window of 128,000 tokens. So that means it can chat, interpret, and analyze up to 96,000 words. This is a significant increase from their previous largest token size, which was 32K. And to top it off, GPT-4 Turbo now has information and knowledge of world events up to April of 2023. So no longer are you limited in information up to 2021 when using GPT-4. This is a huge upgrade and a game changer for GPT-4 because it addresses the limitation of the small context window and the knowledge cutoff of 2021. So now as content creators and as bloggers, you will be able to do more and create much more higher quality articles and blog posts using GPT-4 Turbo. So let's go ahead and assess the quality of GPT-4 Turbo for ourselves and write a long form SEO optimized article. In order to access the latest version of GPT-4, just head over to platform platform.openai.com and you should have already applied for the API. If you didn't, you may have to apply again, but you'll have all of the models within this chat section. And here we can see GPT-4 Turbo 1106. This is a preview of the API as they will be rolling out a more stable version later in today's year. If you want to create an article, we can use the playground mode, the system and the user and the messages to write us a full article. But now there's another way in which you can generate content using OpenAI playground this is called the assistant now the assistant allows you to do more with open ai because now you have the ability to add functions you also have the ability to combine the playground mode with the code interpreter which allows you to write and analyze code and you also have a new feature which is called retrieval so retrieval actually allows you to upload images or sorry documents onto the playground mode and then the ai will retrieve files or retrieve information from the files in which you upload now we'll be going over some very practical use cases of this when it comes to blogging and creating articles and um, blog posts later on in today's video but first let's actually go over how we can create an article using the assistant mode in playground the new assistant feature allows you to create a specific assistant for a specific outcome that you may have when using gpt4 so for example the first thing that you want to do is create a name for your assistant in our example, we'll be naming it blog writer. And then you wanna give the assistant instructions. So you wanna tell it what the outcome is, what are the parameters in which it needs to work in. So I've told it that you're an expert blog post writer. You write SEO optimized blog posts for an AI based website. You can change this for whatever website that you create content for. You write in a simple to read tone, informative and friendly. You follow all of the best SEO on-page practices and keyword optimization for the target keyword in which I will provide you. So you can go as detailed as you like with these instructions. This is just an example to show you what you can get out of the new assistant mode. But you can be very, very in-depth and very detailed so that your outputs will be a lot better. And then you can choose the model in which you would like to work with. Of course, we'll be using GPT-4 Turbo. Now you have the ability to add functions. Functions is only going to be good if you are building your own software and you need to work within API calls. If not, don't worry about that. Code interpreter is also really good if you would like to write or analyze code. And retrieval can be good for a couple of different use cases that we'll discuss after we generate this article. So once you have your settings in the assistant, now it's time for you to enter your prompts within your thread. I've already went ahead and entered my prompt and generated the article because I wanted to make sure that the process was as smooth as possible. The first thing that I asked the AI was I told it that your first task is to write an in-depth comprehensive blog post outline, be exhaustive and include every single question or topic a person would need to know for this blog post and then I told it to write in Markdown. And below is the output in which I got back, which is a very detailed outline for this keyword of best AI tools of 2023. We get an intro, understanding AI tools, selection criteria for AI tools, best AI tools of 2023 by category. So I specifically asked it to write an article about 2023 because I wanted to make sure that it was actually trained on live and up-to-date information. And as you can see, once I scroll down to some of these actual tools, it definitely has been trained on information of 2023. So this is awesome because you can write a more up-to-date information for your blogs and your articles. So it goes over different AI tools for different use cases. And then um, below that, I think it actually talks about specific AI tools. And then we have a conclusion and an FAQ. Below the writing, it had a pretty interesting note. Essentially, it's giving me some SEO factors that it will integrate into this blog post. 
and it will write each section for readability with bullet points, number lists, and bullet key terms. Now, this is really good because I didn't prompt the AI and I didn't tell the AI to do this. It kind of understood that that's what it needs to do in order to create SEO optimized content and follow the SEO best practices. So again, this is really good because it shows the power and how smart GPT-4 Turbo is compared to some other models because it already understands context a lot better. Once we generated the outline, the next message that I sent was I told the AI that I want you to write the full article. Include lists, tables, charts, bolded words, external links when applicable, and I want you to write the first half of the article. When the first half is done, then I will tell you to write the rest and write a markdown. The reason why I did this is because before in the previous test, I told it to write the full article and the article was a little bit short for my liking. So I wanted to get a little bit more in depth article. If you want to be even more detailed, you can tell the AI to write section by section, starting with the introduction, and then you will tell it when to move on. That works well because the AI will take its time to write on each point of the um, specific outline that it's writing about. So this is the first half of the article for best AI tools of 2023. Again, we get an intro. It is highlighting the keyword in which we're going after, understanding tools, selection criteria for AI tools, best AI tools of 2023 by category. And as we can see here, we have some very up-to-date um, tools. And what I like this is that it also includes some external links. Some of these links were good. As you can see, this link is not broken, but some of the other links were broken, but it's still good that um, you're able to include external links into your articles using GPT-4 Turbo. So that's a good touch. And if you take a look at the actual tools, we see that we're getting new tools. So for example, copy.ai is a fairly new tool. Jasper is also a fairly new tool that was formerly known as Jarvis. So again, we can see that GPT-4 Turbo has definitely been trained on information past 2023. So that was the first section of the article. Then it wrote the second half. I just told it to continue writing and finish the second half of the article. And it was able to continue writing and finish the second half um, of this blog post. So overall, I would say that this was a pretty good article. It's very well formatted. It doesn't include too much fluff. It kind of gets right to the point. It talks about the topic and subtopics of that specific keyword and it's also included external links to relevant ai tools of 2023 so this is i would say a very very high quality article and i think now you're able to write much more high quality in-depth article on a variety of different topics because you now have the context window of 96,000 words which is quite a lot but you also have the ability to write a more up-to-date information because the ai is trained on information past 2023 for fun, I wanted to scan this on originality.ai to see what the score would be. It is only 5% original and 95% AI, so it seems as though originality.ai still detects the content as being written as AI. In terms of plagiarism, it was 0% plagiarized, and for readability, it had a decent score of 47.9. But overall, that's how you can use the assistant mode to be able to write SEO-optimized article with GPT-4 Turbo. If you enjoyed today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.